hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is mohammed rahim so today we will learn how can we make a rpa challenge workflow in the ui path so you can see i am already made a program to use the for rpa challenge workflow so let's start you can see here the first they are open the website rp challenge and maximize the window and then click on the start button and write the first name last name company name email address and all in company on here you can see okay so let's start we'll make a workflow how can we do that so i'm just to stop this Just stopping this workflow. So let's start. How can we do that? So I'm just comment this. Okay. So how can we do that? Firstly, we will take a open browser activity. Open. Here what I am doing and you can see I am already created website URL and copy the website URL from the website and write and paste on the default option. So just we need to the website write the website URL on here and choose the browser Chrome and click on the new session because it will start from the new Chrome browser. So after this what we are doing, we are take a read range activity to read the excel file. So I am taking excel application scope activity and inside I am already create a excel file path and paste the path on default option. So I am just excel file path. and create a variable where we know this or PA challenge excel ok after that what we are doing we are take a for each row activity for continue the process row wise so just modify this and here type the excel file path not excel file path here RP challenge Excel sheet. Okay, and one one more thing we can take we can take a maximize window activity. And modify his display name is display name is open. RPA challenge website and here uh, 
hundred Excel seat. Okay. that we take a anchor base activity why I am taking the anchor base activity because we are use the two activity inside in the anchor base first is find element and second is type into because if we are using the type into activity without the anchor base you can see here if we are click on the submit there that the position is changing change that's why we are using the anchor base activity you can see here the last name position on here and if we are click on the submit the last position name is position on here that's why we are using the anchor base activity that if we are using the anchor base activity then we know no effect on the process so firstly what we are what I am doing copy this and paste on here six times because we have the seven column that's why I am using this in seven times and open my open actual suit and copy the column name first name and modify his The second column name is last name, and doing the same thing.
change the selector for the A name and indicator and the company and type on here the packet paste the column name dot to string and here change the display name also Another column name. I'm doing the same thing for this also. Copy address column name, indicate on address, and check the origin for final. Change this display also. Type control. Click activity to click on submit. Take another click activity to click on the start. and take a maximize activity to maximize the window maximize window activity ok maybe I am doing the yeah I am already taking a maximize activity so I am taking click activity to click on the So, workflow is ready. 
try to click on run first to be what we are doing we just close the excel sheet also open the browser and click on here and now is type the first name last name company name and other thing you can see here everything is working fine so Today's agenda has been completed. So please subscribe my channel and like my video. And if you want to tell me something about how can we, in which process we will make the videos, you can comment. I'll make make it on the same process. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Please subscribe my channel and like my video.